Welcome everyone, I have some prime cringe material for you today. All I can say is, wow, I have not seen kids this brainwashed since those weird Obama kid choirs back when he was president. This time we have a group called the Sunrise Movement, which appears to be a far left socialist group. I'm not 100% sure on that. They don't say anywhere outwardly that they're socialists, but they support all socialist policies. Of course, one of the policies that they're promoting heavily is AOC's new Green Deal. Wikipedia describes them as an American youth grassroots organization that advocates political action on climate change from the United States Congress. The Green New Deal, a plan to switch the energy infrastructure of the United States from fossil fuel to renewable energy, creating millions of jobs in the process. It's the core demand. Look, I'm all for renewable energy sources, but the fact is there's nothing out there yet that's as cost effective as fossil fuels are. In order to have uh, renewable energy sources take over, the government's going to have to force those technologies onto the public. They're not coming up through the free market because it's a good product and it's cost effective. It's, it's coming out because the government's forcing it onto people. Needless to say, this group spoke with Diane Feinstein during a short meeting where they were hoping to encourage her to support the New Green Deal. It gets weird when the group gets triggered over Diane Feinstein showing a little bit of skepticism over the New Green Deal. We are trying to ask you to vote yes on the Green New Deal. Okay. Scientists have said that we have 12 years to turn this around. And in 10 years, you're looking at the faces of the people who are going to be living with these consequences. The government and is supposed to be for the people and by the people and all You know for the what's people. interesting about this group? Is I've been doing this for 30 years. I know what I'm doing. You come in here and you say it has to be my way or the highway. In my humble opinion, this is child abuse. This is some leftist whack job filling these kids' head with fear and predictions that increasingly resemble the religious cult end of the world prophecies of the past. What will happen when 12 years passes and nothing happens? They'll simply make new predictions further down the road, just like they've always done. These doomsday predictions started back in the 70s and have continued right up to the present day with all the past predictions being completely failed. And there Here's is enormous popularity for this bill around okay. the whole country. Here's and we're asking you to be brave proposing. and do this for us and, and for your grandchildren. Get enough for okay. everybody. Here's can I read this to you, though? Yeah, yeah, I can read it. Before they read it, I do though, read. just taking a stand and not be. People should listen a little bit. I yeah, hear what you're true. saying, but we're the people who voted you. You're supposed to listen to us. That's your job. How old are you? I'm 16. I can't vote. Well, you didn't vote, vote for me. Well, she, I'm she voted. For it doesn't matter. We're the ones well, going to be impacted. It doesn't matter. We're going to be the ones who are impacted. Yeah. For you. The modern hysteria over climate change began with Al Gore's propaganda film, An Inconvenient Truth, that was required viewing in schools across the country. Every single prediction made in that film has been proven to be false. None of it happened. What did Al Gore do? He simply put out a new video with new predictions further down the road. Complete environmental chaos. That's what former Vice President Al Gore predicted back in his movie in 2006. It didn't happen. There he said back in 2009, 75% chance Arctic ice gone within the next five years, seven years. Eight years later, Arctic's still here. If you wonder why these people seem to get wackier and wackier, just think, the people that are grown-ups now and indoctrinating children with this all grew up watching An Inconvenient Truth. 